Okay, so e bike batteries. How expensive are they? Well, I can't afford one anyway. So now I've got two mountain bikes, both from. I built them anyway, so yeah, I didn't have batteries. I seen these on eBay. Thirty six volts, well thirty seven up to forty two you charge it. Twelve point eight amp hours. Yeah. I've got these weird connections on which can't be used, let me tell you. There's a security thing inside here that um cuts it off. You know, as soon as you give it some thumb throttle or whatever, it cuts out. So I've tried bypassing it. I even went from the red to the black. Negative and positive. It's still cut out on my... So... Yep. Yeah. So the way it's done... 16 screws... Yep, undo them. Then you've got to get a Stanley knife in the in the crease. Just slowly cut away at it. You'll feel it go soft. You'll know. The way I found easiest was a couple of good scores up there. On the other side then across this one with just the one so the one with just the where the wires come out anyway cut there you can get a screwdriver if you've got a nice sharp strong screwdriver like this one you can get in the gap and it will wedge it open you know so So when we've got it open, you come across this anyway. I took the BMS off because it was cutting out like I says. The easiest way I found was to just get that sharp screwdriver again. Put it underneath the nickel plate that comes off here and just whack it back. And they come off quite smart, as I'll show you in a bit. Not too bad. Yeah, anyway, this, that's what I was saying. Yeah, this BMS, it locks off. And then you've got to plug, you know, when it cuts out, you've got to plug it back into the charger. For it to turn back on but it'll just cut out again so i have a feeling that is something to do with it correct me if i'm wrong it's a shame because all these cells will work were perfectly balanced so i know the bms is good for charging which i might have a look at doing off a JST, JST cable. Hmm. So yeah, anyway. Oh, that's not going to come out now. Yeah, it is. This is what you get. 40 cells. Look at the readings. There wasn't a cell under 40 
4150 I'm going to say 3150 Yeah, I was pretty impressed with them. And they are decent cells. 3.2 amp hours. <clears throat> and as I say, this battery goes to... This is 12.8 amp hours. So, a decent battery, all in all. So, because now I've took all this nickel plate off, Oh, it's connectors. I could rebuild the pack using these, which would be much easier. That's the same size as that battery. 40 cells. So, but that means you're doing a lot of soldering or spot welding. Well, I only got a spot welder, so I can't do that, can I? Well, I have got this board, spot welding board. As soon as the first time I used it, blew the fucking blew the MOSFET. I don't know, man. So, as I say, I bought a few of these. I've got two of them. I've got them directly next to each other. I won't lie. I've used a bit of super glue to hold these together. Temporarily. So that will be 36 volts. I'm going to be over 20 amp hours and all. I'm kind of going off them other batteries that I have tested. I've not tested these, although I will. I can only discharge at 2 amps. So that kind of ruins me a bit. Yeah, so what we're going to do. I'm going to cut these notches off. We're going to cable tie right round the edge. Oh, well, I'll take you forever as I'm soldering that all together anyway. I've got some. Bad. I've got some nickel strip. Which will connect those batteries up perfectly. I will put a couple of connections, at least two on each. Hmm. I think they fitted together quite well. So this is also got to do, connect this side and this side. in a BMS and we're ready the battery will be ready to go I say that it took me freaking ages to do this now because I'm doing a video then I've got to edit it then I've got to test it and all these batteries come from I believe ex rental scooters Yeah, so I'm hoping they've all been took out in one go because I bought them all together, obviously, which would make them all around the same. 
I think. I hope. We'll see anyway. We'll see if I have any problems in the next couple of weeks. And uh, yeah, so a few tools that you're going to need to be doing this. You're going to need a Phillips screwdriver and a nice sharp flathead. You're going to need a standing knife. You're going to need solder. Obviously your soldering iron. Fuse wire. This is in case you're too nervous to be soldering it. Put your fuse wire on. The only thing it'll do is blow the fuse wire. You know? That is... Five amp, five amp fuse wire, flux, um, pair of scissors to cut the nickel strip, and do you know what, I think we're ready to go, so I'm going to clear some of this mess, we'll come back We'll get some soldering done on this. Let's get it put together. <clears throat> right then, here we go again. So what we're going to do is just a bit of flux where I'm going to connect. I will edit some of this out. I'm sure you just don't want to see me looking Do you know what? I can actually hear people saying, Oh, but you're not supposed to solder on lithium batteries. True. But with this we're going to try and be on and off as quick as we can. So You see, that quick on and off. Okay, so I'll get these soldered up and I'll come back to you. So, yep, I've tinned them up. 
I'm not going to add the wires tonight because I'm going to tidy up round the battery. I want to put something round this because it's helping hold this pack together as well. Yeah, I'll put my connectors on. I don't claim to be no professional solder or nothing, but you know, they're on, they're holding. And you know what? No one's ever going to see them. As long as they hold, then I'm happy. And I'm looking for some thicker nickel strip. From a positive and negative. Yep, that's where I've got to put my main cables to. So. Yep. Um, what else? Yeah, I'm just going to clean up this pack. Try and get, try and get these removed. I did have a saw, but it was just no good. Yeah, I'll connect these up properly. Solder up properly. These connections. You know, but here yeah, we're getting there, aren't we? Okay, and we're back. I'm gonna fit the BMS now. So I've tinned all these up. Yeah, tidied them up as best I could. As I said, I don't claim to be brilliant at soldering. I see the main thing is, is we're secure. I know that they ain't coming off. I might put another few over. You know. We shall see. Right now, this is what really scared me when I first started messing with batteries. This is the JST connection that goes into the BMS. Yeah? This is for a 10S 30 amp, yeah? We've got the sensor for if the cells get hot. I'll put a bit of shrink wrap on the ends there. So that when I do connect them, um, you know, let's just cover this bit where this BMS is going to be. Okay. Now this, I ain't going to say it's easy, because that's what people say on YouTube, and when I first started this, I was so fucking nervous, man. But this is how it goes. you got one black wire, you've got 11 wires on the 10S cable. Yeah. This first wire will go to your main black your negative so that will go there now from here above here this is battery now this is going to be positive one positive two positive three Positive four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. So 
that's all you have to do is get these in order first wire second wire third wire fourth wire fifth wire sixth you get the idea I'm not going to cut any of these cables yeah we'll have a bit of excess cable lying about but I could cut it down a little bit I suppose no so give me two minutes so yeah I forgot to say the main negative and the main positive won't be going on yet not until I put the main wires that go to the BMS and to the discharge out well discharge out yeah discharge so we're just going to be going with these eight two four six eight nine yeah nine I think I've made it a bit of awkward by putting all that on you know right then yeah I think I shall put them on as I get to them So yep. P three. Now anybody, if you've got a soldering iron, you can do this. Because they're tinned, you know, you only got to touch them and they're on. Five. Okay, I'll come back to you when I've got all these on. Well, all these, I've got two, four to do. I'll also find my main positive and negative cables. Get them ready to be, get, to be soldered to the board. <clears throat> I'll explain what these three connections are about. Yep, okay, I'll be back with you as soon as I've done these. 
Oh, right, so I'm back. I got a bit carried away. You can see, I've hated the shrink wrap, it's, so I'm tight enough anyway. So I've added two lives, two positives. Yeah, one's for the charger, and one's for your main power. Yeah. So the other thing I need to add is that third. Is that last? Well, it's not the last because I've done the negative. They are going nowhere. So it's this that's going to be next. The BMS. And I need three black wires coming off. This one, the C, oh yeah, we'll say is it there. B goes to the battery negative. Yeah. B to the battery negative. C goes to my charger. So that's going to be my charging cable. So that's going to be the other one to this. So that'll give me them two. And the next one, the P, which is here, this is my discharge negative, which will go with my power cable, my discharge main power, yeah. So I'm just going to get these tinned up. Yeah, getting bloody close now, and all. I wouldn't mind getting this together, get it wrapped up, temporary. Get out and put some miles on it. Yeah, which will mean me charging my camera, charging this. Just to top it off, so that shouldn't take too long. And getting my bike. Could wear my camera on my chest, because I don't know if I mentioned I bust me handlebar connection. Okay, this is something I do quite regular as well. You know, just go along and feel the battery. Make sure nothing's heating up. It's not like anything could, you know. It's not connected. It's all separated there. So yeah, let's start measuring up for this BMS. Get this tinned up. And I'll be back to you. Okay. Okay. So, what have I been doing? I put the B minus on. And this goes to the battery minus. Ba battery negative minus. Yep. 
that's ready to go. I don't want to make this live yet, so I'm not going to connect that yet. The C negative, which is here, I'll put this along to a plug now. And the positive goes straight to the main positive. This plug is an XT90. And the one for your main discharge outlet, you know, that's an XT90. XT60, that's an XT60, that's an XT90. Yep. So what I'm left to do now, and I've got the P minus, so I want to get this connected up, and I want to measure these, get the plug on, get the plug on the main wires, then I'll connect, then I'll connect my battery negative I might use a thicker wire than that yeah I will so all I'll have to do is connect this wire connect that in and we're live to go this battery will be ready to test first test on the charger obviously get these wires tucked away so they're not going to catch on anything bit of glue gun and we're going to be ready to go aren't we get a bit of glue on these as well you can see that's pulling off there And if I get a piece of something all the way around this edge, this will hold these all in. Yep, so I'm going to get the plug put on. I'll get this connected, the main power connected. Then I'll come back to you when we're left with the B minus. The JST or JTS cable to go in. And we can do some tests or see if we've got any smoke. I don't know. I've had a, I've done a few of I have made a few. It just melts all these cables if you've done it wrong. And blows your BMS. Your BMS is rubbing then. Which will be a bit of a bastard. So I've ruined this whole video. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah. I got the connection on. And let me tell you, it was a nightmare. That clamp helped a lot. Just to hold it in position.
sorry. Yeah, tonight it's already this up now. I'll tuck these wires away. Yep, I think I'm going to get the glue gun out. <coughs> oh, yep. I couldn't find another wire, so I just doubled up on the negative. That'll be all good. I just need to wrap this battery up a bit now. And it can go out and be tested. The main tester is here now. Does it blow up? Or does it work for me? There's one way to find out. I'm not feeling no heat. <coughs> to the JS60, JXT60. Let's test it. I'd say we're good, you know. So I'm going to go to the shop. I'm going to tidy this up a bit. Then I'm going to get it on charge outside. I always do that on the first charge. So it has to go outside. I don't know why it shows under on the, char on the charger part. <coughs> but yeah, so I'm going to go to the shop, I'm going to get a bit of this wrapped up, mm. get it in a bag and get it tested, sounds good to me. So, there it is, I'll put the battery in so well, just a bit of cardboard for now. Connect it up. It's just, it's not going to be.